Well, Brian, can you kind of give us a quick summation of the quarterback play thus far, first three practices? Uh, you know, I think it's 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 been pretty good. Uh, the, the veteran guys that have played have done a really good job. I uh, feel really good about the top two guys um, executing the offense, knowing what to do. Uh, Paul's still learning, still coming along. Um, and then uh, we got the, the new guy, Albers, uh, that's, that's stepped in, and he's done a pretty good job with uh, the limited reps he's gotten so far. Is Jack as, as close to full go, 100%, as he can be right yeah, now? Yeah, I would say he, he's very similar to uh, how David Blau was a couple springs ago, uh, coming off the same type of ankle injury. So. Uh, he's not really getting in uh, the team periods. Uh, we don't want to risk anybody falling on that leg, but uh, he's getting he's getting a lot of work and, and he's looking good out here. What is he? I mean, what's the focus for him this this spring? Uh, I think consistency uh, and and really uh, consistency throwing the football. Uh, there were a few times uh, last year where maybe. Uh, he, he missed the mark on a, on a few throws, and we're just trying to clean him up, make him as consistent as possible. He's, he's very smart. He understands the playbook. Uh, he's pretty good about knowing where to go with the football. Uh, we just want to make it as uh, consistent with the uh, accuracy and timing uh, and getting that all, all shored up. What about Aiden? What, what are you working with him on? You know, Aiden, um, you know, he's – he is growing uh, every day because he's getting more reps, more reps, more reps. Uh, I think him getting to play in those three games was, uh, you saw him, him spike up and uh, how much better he got as the games went on, getting the real live reps. So, um, you know, obviously uh, trying to get him in some more athletic situations, see him move around, be able to, you don't have to be, uh, you know, Michael Vick out there, but, you know, the Tom Brady type stuff where you can slide in the pocket, find ways to move and, and be athletic within the pocket uh, to be able to get the ball out. So we'll be working on those things. Have you seen a difference? Did his confidence level go up? Oh, yeah, for sure. I think both of them, both of them, uh, you know, getting to play and, and be out there and, and have some success. And they both had success last year uh, at times. So uh, I think both of them have uh, really grown in confidence uh, with the ability to speak up, be leaders out there on the field. And, uh, you know, they're really kind of showcasing that early in the spring. Is, is there a pecking order, Brian? Is there a one and a two? Uh, right now, it's it's uh, competition. It's competition. So they'll be they'll be uh, rotating through as evenly as, as we can make it. Just so, uh, what's it mean for your quarterbacks to have Rondell out there? Oh yeah, that's huge. <laughs> that's huge. Uh, obviously, uh, the impact he makes on the game and <clears throat> for the quarterbacks, obviously, it makes their life a lot easier to have him out there. Uh, so. The more healthy uh, skill guys we can have and linemen around the quarterbacks, we're, we're always going to look better. You've also added more receivers that are Absolutely. out here this year. There's and just, just kind of maybe some of those guys that have stood out a little bit yeah, so far. Uh, the young guys have, have, uh, have stood out. Their first spring here, Abdur and, and Malik, uh, both uh, shown some flashes of uh, some, some uh, big-time potential. So uh, really feeling good about that receiver room. Uh, obviously, want to keep them all healthy, but I'm uh, feeling good about the guys we got. But yeah, those, having those quality receivers makes your quarterbacks a little bit uh, better. Uh, right? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. We want as many good guys around us as we can have. How's TJ Sheffield and Mershon Rice look coming out of the red shirt? They look good. They look more confident, more sure of uh, what what they have to do within the offense, and uh, they look good the, the first week. Is it just tweaking some offensive things right now in spring, or? Yeah. Um, you know, I would say we we uh, we slow down our install a little bit to kind of focus a little more finely on the, the details of a few things. Uh, but it's not a whole lot different than what we've done in the past. But we have slowed down a little bit, and we're going to try to get the details kind of worked out a little bit more here in the spring uh, to try to focus on those little things. Now, how do you how do you jumpstart this running game? Uh, that, that's a big part of, of why we're doing that, uh, to make sure we know uh, each run we have versus every front, what the calls are, and make sure our guys are uh, completely confident uh, when they're out there and, and we make a call that they know what to do in every situation.